Hey everyone, it's me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Hi guys. So it's been a crazy time, and I'm absolutely embarrassing. I just finished recording. Um, since I've been having to move from room to room until like everything is situated, um, the room I was staying in, which is the room I'm going to um, live in for the time being, um, it's actually pretty empty right now, so I decided, I was like, oh, I want to sing. Uh, I want to sing because it has like this nice echo, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. I'm so embarrassing, so I used the ring light that my cousin's boyfriend like um, let me borrow. I It was really sweet of him. I didn't... So, yeah, we started off really rocky. <laughs> Those that have been keeping up with my updates, yes, and... Um, I'm getting emotional just th thinking about it, but I I feel so grateful that, I don't know, like something shifted and I just want to always do my best to understand people. Sometimes it's a little harder because if I'm going through stuff and I'm triggered and it could be you know, and I've been going through my own personal things, so, and that was, um, really scary for me at the time when, um, the, the stuff happened, but it's a matter of trying to always understand one another to the best of our ability. Sometimes, though, I, I, on a personal level, there's just so much unknown that it's more frustrating for me to try to understand people. I just got to work on myself. But in the case of family, I'm here living with them right now. And I want to understand the people around me the best way I can understand, of course. And I, I feel it's important. And I feel that there is a bigger purpose also um, to repair my bonds with family as hard as, it, as it's been. So I'm working on that. And, excuse me, um, okay, okay, I just drank water, and I'm burping up, water, uh, burping up, it's gross, <laughs> I have been so crazy, like, not crazy, but I, I say crazy, because I'm not used to being so open like this to everyone else, I mean, yes, I record these things, and I can say some crazy stuff, but... I'm just embodying this, like, there's nowhere for me to hide anymore. That's what I, I feel like. I can't hide from family because we all live together. And I can't hide from the world anymore. I've noticed that. I've been, like, shoved to a corner. And it's like, express yourself. <laughs> Show yourself. Or was that the way the song went? I don't know. I'm in a. I love Disney. I. It makes me happy. I, I I feel like a kid and. Yeah. There's. Yeah. I want to say. I'm very proud of myself. It has been so hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, um, it has been so hard with so many things, and I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just glad to be here, you know, like, where I used to want to, for a uh, trigger warning for the topic of where I used to not want to live. Even with all the things that are still happening in my life, I still choose to live, and I'm so proud of me. It's been such a hard journey. And <laughs> I'm... Thank you guys for all the messages and the encouragement as well. I just want to be the best version of myself every day, show up the best version of me every day as much as I can because no one is perfect I'm far from it but I'm gonna do my very best to show up as me authentically me because that's all that's like that's freedom 
like I never understood when people and yes it's this is not usually maybe the easier path you know having to hide behind something I growing up I never wanted to hide because I was always hidden <laughs> um I mean because you guys already know <laughs> I've mentioned it before if not I'll mention again my mom and dad were never married my dad he had many women he would sleep with but he was married too and had kids but when it came to my mother it was a little bit different he he fell for her even though he was married and she didn't know he was married at first but he then eventually told her and they still you know kept on and then they had me <laughs> I wouldn't be here otherwise, so I gotta, I know that it came from something not morally right in my eyes, but I wouldn't be here otherwise, and um, as much as life has been very difficult, and it has been um, a lot, a lot, a lot, I want to do my very best to keep living because that's what my mom wanted for me to live to the best of my ability I love my mom I love my dad they're not around anymore but I love them they did the best they could raising me were they perfect? no, there's no such thing were, was there a lot of trauma and a lot of things? yes and I'm healing from all that as w most of us are when it comes to childhood wounds <laughs> I have hidden myself away to a point too without realizing so even if I look silly even if I look dumb I'm just gonna be me even if I look crazy even if I I'm very self-conscious about of my body and the way I look, but I'm just going to be me, man. I've got nothing to hide. I'm just myself. And the more I do this, the more healing it is for me and my inner child. Because all she wanted was to be seen. <laughs> my poor baby. <laughs> and that little video I did reminded me of so growing up my mom would take me to it was a place called La Mit La Admit sorry I'm trying to remember how it's said in Spanish La Admita de la Caridad so it was like a church and it was a, a very special one it, they had like I don't remember but it was a special church <laughs> It was very beautiful. You could see it was like an ocean view and it was just very healing. And then they had like this little stage. And I would always, as a child, go onto the stage and just sing. I was like five years old, six, whatever. And I would just sing, sing anything, just sing. And my mom would see me singing and twirling around like a, like whatever, like me, and she would get so happy, and I, we lose these parts of ourselves along the way in life, because we are brought up a certain way, taught certain things, conditioned a certain way, however it might be, but the most beautiful thing in the world is to be able to rekindle that love within self, to become best friends with that inner child, that inner voice of yours, and really listen to them, listen to that, that inner child, and heal, and heal them. Because a lot of our triggers and wounds in our day-to-day -day stem from childhood. And if we ignore that, part of us we're ignoring ourselves because essentially if we ignore 
any part of us, it's still ignoring ourselves. And I'm learning right now through heartbreak, through heartache, through redefining of my values, my worth, my strengths, that the most important thing is loving yourself. And I, I know I've already talked about that, so I won't go into that anymore. But I am just really grateful that I am relearning how to love me in a healthy way. Because love is beautiful. And when I sing... I'm, I know I'm not a professional. No way. What the hell? I've never even had a, a freaking singing lesson in my life. But I love to sing. When I sing, I feel so magical. I feel so in tune with myself. I feel like I'm healing myself every time I sing. As Maybe it sounds silly. Singing for me is sacred. Like every part of me right? Like every part of ourselves. It's sacred. Keep it safe. It's sacred, right? And there is that part of me that I'm still healing. And I'm like, man, I really want to be loved. I really want for one, something to work out for me, for something to take off. But I understand that it's a process and I'm being given the opportunity. As hard as it's been, I'm given the opportunity to learn to love myself, even if it's been painful and my heart hurts. But I'm healing. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And not only that, another lesson, a very important one. I've, I briefly mentioned it too. When we deal with others, it is important. <laughs> it is so important to, to just see with the eyes of love, be compassionate. No matter what's been done to you or what you feel has been done to you, if you feel wronged or before acting, reacting, all that. I've mentioned all that before already. But it's very important, I feel, because we, it's so easy, like, I'm not going to lie, the last, like, handful of days I've been so angry, so angry, and I don't like being like that, but I had to deal with that anger, and I've been working really hard, guys, we all have, I know, I'm sure, but I can, like, I don't stop all day. I'm working outside or, or working here with my orders, but working outside, cooking, cleaning, washing dishes like every hour of the fucking day because when you live with people, the dishes are always dirty and I'm just trying to do my best, do my part because I'm so grateful to have a roof over my head. I'm so grateful to be healing the bonds of, of my, with my family because I love family so much. Yes, I've spoken and been hurt. And like I speak from a hurt. I've spoken from a hurt place. I have. I know I have. <laughs> several times. I don't deny it. I don't regret it either. Because at that moment I felt that way. But I know in my heart. That I might not see the bigger picture right now. But all this is working for me. All the things that are happening in my life right now, as painful as I feel it is, it's all going to work out for me. <laughs> I feel like my life is going to take off in the next couple of months without even realizing how fast everything is moving. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to finally live my life. Not putting anyone else before me. Even when I get into a relationship, compromises are important, but it's also important to have personal compromises with self, 
right? I feel that it's so important to listen to one another, to communicate, to communicate the truth that you feel without fear of being you unapologetically. And that's what I'm doing, guys. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support, for everything. Everything has been a lesson. And yes, they have been painful. But here I am. And thank you guys for still believing in me, still purchasing from my shop, despite how much of a dumpster fire <laughs> of a life I've been going through. <laughs> It's okay. It, it's okay. What was that? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What was that? I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. I'm so grateful for the people that have come into my life, even though I've, I feel it's been painful. I only have love. Yeah, sure. I'll have moments where I'm, <laughs> my anger is like, very raw right now but I wish the best for everyone everyone that has crossed my path I wish them the best because that's the way to heal I'm not going to hold any resentment anger you know comes and goes but we have all, we always have those we all have those moments excuse me it's human I'm human and I'm so proud of me. I might have started, um, my life has been very, I'm a, I'm a telenovela. <laughs> but here I am. And I can't wait for that time, for that moment where I can share these beautiful feelings with another. I really am looking forward to that. I'll continue to work on myself, but I am excited to meet people, make new friends. And I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. I am going to open myself up for all the new, all the things that have been waiting for me, waiting for the moment that I understand that I had to go through such lessons so that I can embrace my true essence and self, my divine goddess self. Yeah. All right. That's it. Just wanted to stop by with a quick audio. Love you guys. Stay safe. It's been crazy out there. Please stay safe. Love you and take care. Till the next one. Bye-bye.